so we are going to talk about some workout motivation i am here to tell you that you will hit a plateau or if you already have hit that plateau there's a few things that you can do so i hit my plateau and i've been kind of stuck for a couple of months and so i said i'm going to go to a nutritionist which you can do with your health plan um i have a health plan through my job so i went to kaiser for a nutritionist and she you know documented what i eat and my activity level and all that stuff like my blood work is good and um all that kind of stuff right and so she started asking me about my physical activity and what i eat in a day and she noticed like you don't have you don't eat enough carbs and um, you're working out too much and so what my body is doing now is saying wait a minute she's burning too many calories and not giving us enough so it's holding on to everything and it's because I'm not putting in enough food to burn the energy that I'm expelling if that makes any sense so it's like it's like I'm trying to fill up my tank with twenty dollars and then that ain't gonna cut it when it take fifty dollars and so then I want I wonder why I run out of gas halfway to my destination because I didn't put enough gas in there to get my car the fuel it need to get where I need to be and so it's the same thing I'm not giving my body enough fuel to burn the way it needs to and so it's holding it instead of using it it's holding it and that's not good so um tip of the day if you're going to work out extensively and do a lot of cardio or a lot of weight training you're burning a lot of calories you need to make sure that your body is fueled you need to make sure that you have enough to expel you need to make sure that you have um enough calories to substantiate the amount of work that you're doing so that's my fitness tip if you find yourself plateauing ask yourself did i increase my workout but i didn't increase my food intake because now your body is saying okay there was a big change and we need to make sure that she can survive so my body trying to look out for me i don't want you to look out for me body okay I got this. So if your body trying to look out for you and you don't need it to by holding on, put your body in check. Give your body a little bit of something else. So what did she say to do? Because I told her I'm not going to do the bread. I'm not going to do that. I'm pescatarian, which I'm kind of liking. It's only supposed to be for a month, but I like it because it forces me to make healthier choices. Whereas it's easy to go get a burger. It's not that easy to just go get some fish. And so I'm not eating fried fish. I'm not, you know, so it just, I don't know. It just makes me eat healthier. So one thing, a couple of tips about that. Um, she told me. It can be um, it can be the good carbs like I can eat sweet potatoes, um, peas, corn. Um, those were the little things she said try to incorporate um, in my food because I do a lot of veggies and then seafood. So it'll be veggies and fish or veggies and shrimp or veggies and crab cake. So she said and then on if. If possible, do the seafood maybe three times a week and then do vegetarian style. So like the beans to get my protein, which I make, you know, that's not hard for me. So those are, that's one tip. And then the second thing is when you are consuming fish, make sure it's the fish that is low in mercury. One fish that is not that great to eat probably more than once a month. And it's also a guy that they give to pregnant women swordfish and swordfish is so good it's like the steak of the sea it is so good you guys it's so good it make my eye do this make sure you're not eating fish high in mercury the other fish that's great hold on i am going to get this information packet that she gave me so i can tell you the fish you know what i don't know where it is you guys um it's it's basically the fish that we have grown accustomed to eating make sure you're eating good fish um white fish is always good fish so that's your um uh, sole and your cod 
fish like that. Um, tilapia is considered the trash of the sea, but it's good at the end of the day to me. Um, try not to fry your food as much. Um, make sure you're doing cardio at least three times a week because that's just good for your health, but also do strength training. Um, diet will, this is my last statement, diet alone will make you look good in clothes. Diet and exercise will make you look good out of clothes. Which look are you going for? Anyway, this is your girl, Vintage Sister. You know what I'm about to say, though. Peace and blessings. Deuces.